वेलकम आई अभिनंदनेगी वेलकम यू ऑल वेलकम टू द लार्जेस्ट लाइव ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज ग्रेड अप प्लीज स्टूडेंट्स कम ज्वाइन अस सो दैट योर लेक्चर इज नॉट मिक्स्ड सो दैट योर लेक्चर इज नॉट मिस्ड ओके आई वेलकम यू ऑल ओके हाय आकाश हाय इस्लादीन हाउ आर यू आई एम सुपर फाइन आई होप यू आर ऑल्सो फाइन अरे यार ओके ओके आई एम गुड हाय खुशबू ओके लेट अस बिगिन यस्टरडे आई हैव गिवन यू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ सोम एंड द वेटेज एंड वट आर द सिलेबस ऑफ द सोम एंड फ्रॉम वट एरियाज वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट क्वेश्चन एंड वट आर द चैप्टर वाइज वेटेज ऑफ गेट टूडे आई विल स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर स्ट्रेस एंड स्ट्रेन एंड प्लीज बिलीव मी इफ यू सी ऑल माई लेक्चर्स देन यू कैन स्कोर हंड्रेड परसेंट मार्क्स एंड सॉल्व ऑल क्वेश्चंस in any competitive exams whether it may be gate or it may be ies or it may be any other state exam okay <clears throat> yesterday before be, before starting the lecture before starting the lesson yesterday some of you have asked me doubts sir whether spring is in gate syllabus or not so listen my dear students if you see the official site of iit and you will check syllabus there then it is spring is not written there but in many in many questions they have used spring and they have attached spring there so you should have basic concepts of spring you should know how to find the deflection of the spring how to find the stiffness of spring so whether it is not there in syllabus but still you should have a basic idea of it so you can solve those questions quickly okay and some of you also asked me sir are you going to take the full som so see here first chapter that is stress and strain that is has the most weightage i will be taking the full syllabus of that first chapter later on please install the grade up app and later on in some time later i will deal with other topics of som also but at present i will be only dealing with the first chapter stress and strain but the first chapter will be fully covered 100% for every competition point of view okay hello shinde <coughs> hello sunny how are you i'm fine okay happy thursday okay hello satyam jai shri ram hello sunny हेलो अर्चना ओके यू कैन कमेंट ऑन यूट्यूब और इन ग्रेड अप ऐप इन वेर एवर यू आर वॉचिंग दिस लेसन सो लेट अस बिगिन विद द फर्स्ट चैप्टर स्ट्रेस एंड स्ट्रेन ओके बिफोर द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द फर्स्ट चैप्टर दिस इज माई इंट्रोडक्शन आई हैव सिक्योर्ड ऑल इंडिया रैंक वन सिक्सटी फोर इन गेट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व एंड आई हैव मेंटर्ड मोर देन एट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स फॉर एट एट थाउजेंड आवर्स ओके so our first chapter is starting here stress and strain okay see so the first question that come in your mind that what is stress please connected here be connected here and please see this video you will be going to have the complete knowledge about it okay so what is stress stress is internal resistance due to applied external force okay let us let let me explain that suppose my dear students this is a bar this is fixed here and this is bar and this is fixed here okay i apply a p external force on it okay since this bar is fixed here since this bar is fixed here so <coughs> it will be having a reaction equal to p now a p force is acting downward p force is acting upward so net force is zero so this bar is in equilibrium okay see here suppose 
I cut this section, I cut this bar here and I name this as one and I name this as second part and let me show you individually the first and second part then you will be better analyzing what is stress. See here I am showing the first bar here and in first bar you can see here you can see here this P force is acting okay. Suppose I am showing second bar here and on the second bar this P force is acting that is support reaction. Okay. Now my dear students this whole bar is in equilibrium therefore this small part must be in equilibrium. I am again repeating my dear friends this whole bar is in equilibrium therefore this small part must be in equilibrium so is it in equilibrium right now no it is not if it is like this then it can accelerate downward and this second part can accelerate downward accelerate upward okay since this whole assembly is, is in equilibrium therefore this first bar and this for this second bar must be in equilibrium right now it is not in equilibrium therefore there must be a P force acting on it upwards. Now it is in equilibrium, my dear friends. And this second, in the second part, this P force is acting downwards. Now this second part is also in equilibrium. This whole body is in equilibrium. Therefore, this small part one and two must be in equilibrium. Now in this one bar, P force is acting downward. In this one bar, P force is acting upward. In the second bar, in the second bar, P force is acting downward. And in second bar, P force is acting upward. Therefore, it is now one and two both are in equilibrium. Now, what is stress that I am going to tell you? That is the first chapter. Okay, we denote the stress by Greek letter sigma, and this stress is force per unit area, and this is P by A. Area is a is area of cross section here this is stress internal force by area okay stress is internal force by area and in the whole chapter of stress and strain everywhere I will denote the external force by black color and internal force by blue color my friends okay and please and you may be having doubt that what is external force and what is internal force you may be having a doubt so what is external force and what is internal force okay see what is external force my dear friends external force is that force that you are applying on the bar or support is resisting that is called as external force okay what is internal force internal force is that force which comes in action or which you are able to see after cutting the section for balancing here there is no internal force this internal force has come after cutting the section to balance here it no force is acting so internal force are those force which comes after which we see after cutting the section my my dear students okay now this stress is internal force by area. Internal force has a property that it is always equal in magnitude. This P, this is also P. This is not 2P. This is not 3P. If this is P, this is also P. Internal force are always equal in magnitude. Both are equal and they are opposite in direction. And they are opposite in direction. This P is acting upward. This P is acting downward. So, my dear students, Internal force has property, remember, they are always equal in magnitude, PP. They are equal in magnitude, PP and opposite in direction. Okay, stress is internal force per unit area. Okay, so you know the stress that is internal force by area. Always in the whole chapter, I will deal with first chapter thoroughly. Every question of any competitive exam, you can solve it by listening my first chapter. Okay, now... Let us go further. What are the type of stresses? There are two types of stresses. One is normal stress and one is shear stress. One is normal stress, one is shear stress. Okay, we are having some comments. <coughs> Achna is saying hello, hello Achna. Madhu is saying will you bring question also? I think the same question was yesterday also Madhu. Yes. 
after going up to a certain level we will deal with questions also but for solving questions we have to first understand understand the concept so that you can solve the questions easily so 100% i will deal with questions also but for that we have to go up to certain level after knowing some certain concepts we will deal with questions also yes abhishek hello abhishek hello neeraj hello sunny sunny is saying that i am also lucky in 2000 students to be taught by you okay thank you okay now what are the type of stresses there are two types of stresses one is normal stress and one is shear stress normal stress i denote with the greek letter sigma this is the denotion and shear stress is denoted by tau my dear students normal stress is denoted by sigma and shear stress is denoted by tau okay now what is normal stress <coughs> suppose we have i have a bar here it is fixed here and suppose this is a p force acting on it then the previous that i have told you earlier in the previous slide that was normal stress because that stress if i cut this as one and if i draw this one this is p is acting act downward so the whole body is in equilibrium so small part is also in equilibrium to maintain it in equilibrium there must be p act force acting upwards so the stress is p by a that is normal stress because that is acting on the perpendicular to this area similarly for two bar two portion that above portion we can see that this force is acting upward this force is acting on normal to this area so therefore this is called as normal stress this is called as normal stress now what is shear stress c suppose i have a beam here please see my dear students suppose i have a beam here and this is simply supporting and let us say some p force is acting on this beam okay suppose i cut this beam from anywhere suppose i cut this from this x x section i name it is 1 and i name it as it as 2 and let us suppose let us assume this p force is acting at center therefore by symmetry this will be p by 2 and this will be p by 2 my dear students if this p force is not acting at center it may be acting at some other place then this reaction may be different that we will see later now if i cut if i draw this one portion my dear students if i draw this one portion in one portion here in one portion here it is p by 2 force now the whole body is in equilibrium p by 2 p by 2 force acting upward total p force acting upward and total p force acting downward this body is in equilibrium therefore this small part must be in equilibrium therefore is it in equilibrium right now no it is not so therefore therefore there must be a p by 2 force acting downward definitely there will be some movement consideration also that we'll see in coming classes okay therefore this p by 2 force is acting downward to balance it and it is internal force because we have observed that force after cutting this section it is not p by 2 anywhere acting here it we have observed after cutting it is p by 2 this force and this force is on this area it is shearing it is tangential direction and this will cause shear stress p by 2 by area area of that section shear stress will be the shear force p by 2 upon this area of this cross section similarly you all know that if we cut if i draw the free body diagram of the second part then this p by 2 is acting upward this p is acting downward therefore p by 2 will be acting upward for balancing the second part also so this p by 2 is shear on this area this p by 2 is shearing on this area this will cause shear stress 
So we have two different stresses, normal stress and shear stress. Okay. Now, please fast write on comment box whether the stresses, normal stress or shear stress are vector or scalar. Please. Hello Deepak. Hello Ramchandra. Please write on the comment box. Okay. <coughs> whether these are vectors or scalars okay so somebody is writing correct answer that is tensor some of you agn has write it is vector yasir has write it scalar madhu is correct she has written neither vector nor scalar okay so let me show you my dear students in school, I think most of us has learned that a vector is that thing which has magnitude and direction both. Which has magnitude and direction both. But actual definition is some more definition, some more points are there. The a vector is that thing which has magnitude, which has direction and which follows Pellogram law of addition also. But stress, normal stress, suppose in this board I am applying force like this, this is normal to this board. In a, if I like force, if I apply force, this is shear. If I, if I put force like this, this is normal. If I put like this, this is shear. So, so, Normal stress has a direction that is perpendicular to the board. Shear stress has direction that is tangential to the board. And it will, it will having a magnitude something also, P by A, P by 2A, whatever it be. But the actual definition is vector is that which has magnitude, which has direction and which follows Pellogram law of addition also. But stresses have magnitude that is force by area. If they have direction normal to this board normal stress tangential to this board shear stress but they don't follow follow pellogram law of addition what is pellogram law of addition suppose this vector is a suppose this vector is b then this vector is a plus b we all know that but stress does not follow this pellogram law of addition therefore stress has a magnitude it has a direction, but they don't follow pellogram law of addition. Therefore, they are called as tensor. Some of you have written it correct. Very good. Okay, Prince has written it correct. Tensor, very good, Prince. Hello, Kamal. Okay, Satyam is right. Correct, Satyam. Okay, so stress is a tensor. Okay. Now, I am dealing with shear stress, my dear students. Please, this concept is very important. Please see here. Suppose I have, suppose I am drawing a bar here, my dear students. Suppose this is a body. I am denoting it in 3D. Suppose this is a body. And suppose in this body, I have a force tau 1 here, shear stress. This shear tangential to this plane, I have this shear tau 2 here and suppose on this plane I am having some shear stress tau 3 and in this bottom plane suppose I am having this shear stress tau 4. Now my dear students, these are the stresses that I have denoted. Suppose these stresses tau 1, tau 2, tau 3 and tau 4 are acting on this. Then I want to have the relations between this tau 1, tau 2, tau 3 and tau 4. Okay. Now suppose <coughs> this length is suppose A from here to here. Suppose this length is B and from here to here, suppose this length is C. Okay. 
suppose the body is in equilibrium therefore net upward force should be equal to downward force how much is upward force this tau 1 is acting upward therefore force is stress into area tau 1 in which area it is acting it is acting in b and c tau 1 into b into c force is stress into area my friends area is b into c in this tau 1 is acting so upward force is tau 1 into b into c Okay, tau 4 and tau 2 will be having only forces in horizontal direction. In vertical direction, the net force should be equal to the upward force, should be equal to downward force. In downward direction, this tau 3 and this is acting on this C, on this C and this B. Okay. <coughs> so, the downward force, if I want to calculate, this is stress into area tau 3, this is acting in this C into B, so tau 3 into C into B, this is downward force, so a body will be equilibrium when this upward force and downward force are equal, so if I cut this BC, BC, then this will be tau 1 equal to tau 3, okay, and similarly, if we calculate left hand side force and right hand side force in horizontal direction, then similarly, we can obtain tau 2 is equal to tau 4. Therefore, my friends, tau 2 equal to tau 4 and tau 1 equal to tau 3. Okay. So, tau 1 and tau 3 are equal. From here, tau 2 and tau 4 are equal. So, tau 1 and tau 3 are equal. They are in opposite phase. Tau 1 here, tau 3 here. Tau 2 and tau 4 are equal. They are in opposite phase. Tau 2 is upward. Tau 4 is downward. So, in opposite phase, stresses are equal due to force equilibrium. Here it is force, stress into area. Here it is force, stress into area. So, in opposite phase, stresses are equal. In opposite phase, stresses are equal due to force equilibrium. Okay. But a body is in equilibrium when force equilibrium is also satisfied or movement equilibrium is also satisfied. Okay. So, if I calculate movement about this point, then the movement due to this tau 1 will be equal to movement due to this tau 1 equal to force is how much? Tau 1 into B into C. Tau 1 into B into C. This is force. And to calculate movement, this is force into distance. What is distance? A. Okay. And if I want to calculate this due to this tau 2, then what is force due to tau 2? Stress into area. Tau 2 into area is how much? A into B. This stress into area force. Stress into area force. Stress into area force. And what is movement about this? This force is how, having how much distance from here? It is having C distance. So this tau 1, this tau 1, this tau 1, this tau 1 is rotating this body here like anti-clockwise and this tau 2 will be rotating the body in clockwise so <coughs> their both should be equal for equilibrium then ABC, ABC is cancelled therefore tau 1 is equal to tau 2 and similarly tau 3 equal to tau 4 so see what is tau 1 and tau 2 they are stresses on adjacent phase and tau 3 and tau 4 are stresses on adjacent phase so in opposite phase stresses are equal due to force equilibrium and in adjacent phases stresses are equal in adjacent phases stresses are equal due to movement equilibrium here we have written the movement equation here we have written the force equation so in opposite phases stresses are equal due to force equation force equilibrium and in adjacent phases, stresses are equal due to movement equilibrium. Okay. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Hi, Akash. Okay, yes, Madhu. Engineering stress will be dealing with incoming topics. Okay. Hi, Vivek. Okay. Now, I am going further on this topic. Suppose... Suppose, I am saying, denoting this body, a 3D body, like this, okay, and, and, please see here, this direction I will consider as X direction, this direction I will consider as Y direction, and, <coughs> that, this direction that is coming out of the board, I am denoting it with Z direction. So, this is X, this is Y 
and this is the direction that is coming outside of the board is z direction okay now there are <coughs> this is a cube and i am denoting stress on this cube okay see any plane i will name it as x plane when outward normal to it is in x direction so this plane is x plane because outward normal to it is in x direction okay any i am again saying if you are not getting see here any plane i will say at y plane if outward normal to is in y direction so from this plane outward normal outward normal is in y direction so i will tell this plane as y plane and i will name any plane as z plane if from this outward normal to in z direction so this is z plane this is x plane outward normal to is in x direction this is y plane outward normal to is in y direction and this is z plane outward normal to is in z direction okay so the bottom plane will be minus y plane because because if i consider this then for here it is in negative y direction so this is minus y plane and if i consider this if i consider this my friends if i consider this then outward normal to is in minus x direction this will be calling as minus x plane and this plane will be minus z plane because outward normal to is in z direction okay now i am denoting stresses on these plane my friends okay please see here <coughs> okay suresh is asking what is endurance limit after some time in this chapter in the coming classes i will be dealing with properties of materials there we will show this what is endurance limit okay <clears throat> now let me draw this figure again so that you will be having a better visibility okay see please see here suppose i am writing i am drawing this figure this is x plane outward normal to is in x direction this is y plane outward normal to is in y direction and this is and this is and this is z plane because outward normal to it is in z direction now i am denoting stress in this so on this phase i am denoting first okay my friends on this phase on this phase i am denoting stresses okay so this stress is normal on this plane therefore it will sigma and first letter i write on which plane it is acting it is in x plane so i write it x and in which direction it is in x direction so i write as x okay why sigma because this is normal to this plane why x first letter is that in which plane it is acting it is in acting in x plane and second letter is x because it is in x direction so first letter is on which plane it is acting and second letter is the direction it is acting in x direction so what is this stress on this plane i am denoting my dear friends on this plane this is shear so we will write is a tau on which plane on x plane on which direction y direction so what is this this shear again this is shear in which plane x plane and in which direction my dear friends on z direction okay okay now i am showing stresses on this plane okay this top plane this plane okay what is this this is normal to this plane therefore sigma on which plane it is acting it is acting on y plane in which direction in y direction sigma y y okay now <coughs> i am writing this this is what this is i am writing it here this is tau shear on which plane on y plane on which direction x direction now i am denoting this i am writing it here what is this this is shear on which plane on y plane and we are in z direction this is tau y z okay if i consider now this plane c this plane if i consider and i am writing this is normal to this plane therefore sigma acting on which plane acting on z plane this is z plane acting in which direction this is coming outward so in z direction suppose this 
this is tau, this is on red plane, this is shear, on which plane, this is z plane, in which direction, it is in x direction, what is this, this is shear, tau, on which plane, on z plane, and which direction, y direction. So these are the stresses, generally, sigma, tau, and normal, and shear stresses are like this. Now my dear friends, now my dear friends, I write these stresses in a matrix form. This is called a stress matrix. Okay, I write these stresses on a matrix form and these are this is called as stress matrix. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so I am writing these stresses as sigma x x. This is on x plane I am writing stresses first tau x y and tau x z. Now on this, this y plane tau y x sigma y y and tau y z. On this now z plane tau z x tau z y and sigma z z okay my dear friends okay now if you want a trick to remember this then you can write like this first you write the, like this x x x now y y y and z z z okay this is a proper format, we write in this format only. First you can write x, 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 y, 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 z, z, z. Then you can write x and <coughs> x, x. This will be y, y, y and this will be z, z and z. Okay, and then sigma will be in diagonal. Sigma, sigma, sigma and every other thing will be tau. This will be again same. So this is a trick so that you can remember okay now we write this stress matrix in this particular format okay <coughs> now this stress matrix has a particular point that we have to remember and see what is that point see my friends if I consider this square matrix and this is diagonal if I consider this then this matrix is symmetrical about this diagonal how because this tau y x and this tau x y both are same why tau x y tau x y both are same because we have seen earlier that in adjacent phase stresses are equal similarly this tau z x and tau x z are equal why because tau z x and tau x z are in are in adjacent phase similarly similarly tau z y and tau y z are equal because they are in adjacent phases and in adjacent phases stresses are equal due to moment equilibrium. So if anybody asks you in question exam why this stress matrix is symmetrical, this is symmetrical because of moment equilibrium. Oh yeah, you can see it in uh, with a you know, sense of humor also, yeah, with your IQ also. See, tau yx and tau xy are equal. See, tau yx and tau xy equal. If tau xy is more and tau yx is less, then this body will be coming in anti-clockwise direction. I am again saying, if tau yx is more, if if suppose tau xy is more, if tau xy is more, this one tau xy is more and tau yx is less, then this body will be topple in anti-clockwise direction to for equilibrium body this must be in equilibrium similarly you can see that why tau xz and tau zx are equal if tau xz is more and tau zx is less if tau xz is more and tau zx is less then this body will be rotated like this so to maintain equilibrium therefore this must be in equilibrium without mathematical calculation with your sense of humor also you can see that this should be in equilibrium okay <coughs> Okay, most of you are getting the concepts. Okay. So, Hi Vijayendra. 
yes i am fine i hope you are also fine okay so this stress matrix is in 3d if we want to calculate if we want to calculate in 2d two dimensional then suppose this is a figure this is 2d so i am not denoting the z axis so this is sigma xx because this is acting in x plane in x direction this is sigma yy okay this is x direction that we have shown earlier and this is y and these stresses are shear this is shear on this plane this is shear in this plane this is shear in this plane this is shear in this plane this is tau xy this is tau xy this is shear in 2d we write this as sigma xx sigma xx and tau xy and tau yx and sigma yy okay these are also symmetrical about diagonal tau xy tau x both should be equal <coughs> okay these are the stresses this you can say is tau xy this you can say is tau x both are same uh, we have done the derivation earlier <coughs> okay now if i want to know the sign convention if i want to know the sign convention of these stresses then always remember this thing that you are doing from your childhood plus plus is plus minus minus is plus plus minus is minus and this minus plus is minus now what is this plus minus what is this plus minus c if any stress is on positive phase and in positive direction then it will be plus okay if any stress is is in negative plane in negative direction that it will be plus if any stress is in positive plane and in negative direction that it will be minus if any stress is in negative phase and in positive direction then it will be minus suppose what i am saying to say here see this sigma xx this is positive x phase right correct this is positive x phase this is positive x phase because outward normal to is in x direction positive x direction and this is negative x phase because outward normal to is in negative x direction similarly this is positive y phase because outward normal to is in positive y direction and this is negative y phase because outward normal to is in negative y direction again i am repeating this is positive phase because outward normal to it is in positive direction this is negative phase because outward normal to is in negative x direction this is positive phase because outward normal to is in positive y direction this is negative phase because outward normal to is in negative y direction okay so these are for faces and this is direction the direction of this stress is in positive direction so plus plus is plus here every stress is plus i will draw another diagram to show the negative stresses also see this stress is in positive direction and in positive phase therefore it is also plus suppose a body is like this and stress is like this this is positive phase and this is di direction is negative this is positive x therefore this is negative x so this is positive phase this is positive phase and it is in negative direction so positive phase negative direction this is negative please in comment box please tell fast that if i draw a figure like this and if i draw like this then is it positive stress positive normal stress or negative please write and comment i want to see the answer is this positive or negative stress this sigma is acting here okay sojanya is saying plus alien is saying negative yasir is saying negative kritika is saying negative okay mat matlab is saying negative anonymous is saying negative so janya is saying negative okay please see here this sigma this sigma is in negative phase 
okay this negative phase why this negative phase i am again repeating because outward normal to it outward normal to is in negative direction and the direction of this stress is here in positive direction so it is acting on negative phase and the direction is like this positive so it will be a negative stress okay see i am drawing one more if shear is like this please tell me it is positive or negative i am asking about this if shear is acting like this this is positive or negative this is positive or negative i am asking about this okay suresh is saying negative okay see if this is acting it is acting in positive phase outward normal to is in positive direction and the direction is downwards negative y axis so this shear stress this shear stress this shear stress is acting on positive phase and in negative direction in positive phase in negative direction therefore it is negative stress this tau will be negative stress okay okay most of you are khushboo is right she is saying negative jignesh is saying positive see jignesh here this tau is acting on positive phase and in negative direction on positive phase and in negative direction positive phase negative direction is taken as negative shear stress negative stress okay <clears throat> now see here strain will going to take in the next class please solve this question please solve this question i this is a 2d stress block and you have to find what is the correct stress matrix for it please i want to see every answer who is live here on the comment box please you can write a b c d you can write a b c d please please whoever bansal is saying b please kashmila is saying d most of you are saying b please who have not written the answer please write the answer madhu is saying d please Kritika is saying B. Pasun is saying B. Rajesh is saying B. Raman is saying B. Suresh is saying A. Okay. C. Suppose first, let me show the this direction. This is x direction and this is y direction. Okay. So this is positive phase because outward normal to it is in positive direction. and this is negative phase because outward normal to it is in negative direction okay okay now <coughs> this is positive phase because outward normal to it is in positive direction and this is negative phase because outward normal to it is in negative direction i am again saying my friend this is positive phase because outward normal to is in positive direction this is negative phase because outward normal to it is in negative direction this is positive phase because outward normal to is in positive direction this is negative phase because outward normal to it is in negative direction okay now we all know these two phases are positive and these are negative so first of see this 20 this 20 direction is here along the positive x axis therefore this 20 is acting on positive phase and in positive direction this 20 is acting on positive phase and positive direction therefore this 20 is in positive okay this 50 is acting on positive phase and in negative direction this 50 is acting on positive phase and in negative direction therefore this 50 is negative and these shear stresses this shear stress is suppose this this is in positive phase and in negative direction negative y all will be same this is in negative phase and in positive direction 
this shear stress in negative phase in positive direction and this shear stress is in positive phase in negative direction. So, shear stress is negative. You can see any shear stress for every other it will be same. For this shear stress it is acting in positive phase and in negative direction therefore it is negative every other will be negative. So, shear stresses are negative and normal stresses this is positive this is negative. So, B is correct. Okay, most of you around 90% are correct. Aditya is saying, Are R. Okay, this is my tagline. Most of you which are not knowing. Okay. Okay, somebody is writing that uh, he has some doubt in previous slide. Okay, let me show you. Okay, he is asking this sigma. Okay, this sigma is in negative phase and in positive direction. See this body. Okay. This sigma is in negative phase and in positive direction. So, this will be negative. Okay. This will be negative. Please mark this. This will be negative on negative phase on positive direction. Okay. Now, strain will be doing tomorrow or next class, whatever that I will tell you the time. It will be on Monday at 8.30. Okay. Please solve this question. This is the last question of this session tomorrow <coughs> or whenever we will be having class that is on Monday that is on 16th that time we will deal with, deal with other topics like strain and other topics. Please solve this question. I want to see the answer. You want you have to find stresses on first plane on first body and second body. Madhu is saying D, okay, Madhu please check your calculations once again, yes Madhu shear stress are complementary that means they are equal, please Venkat is saying A, okay, Kashmila is saying C, okay, Sisodhya is saying C, okay, Venkat A, most of you are saying C or A, Okay, Sajanya is saying A. So, I want more answer, please. Okay. So, A is correct. I will show you. Yes, Sajal, Jignesh, all are saying A, correct. Praveen, A, correct. Venkat, A, correct. Okay, see here. I want to calculate the normal stress. First of all, see, normal stress I want to calculate. Suppose I cut section from here. I name this as section XX. And if I cut this section xx, then by cutting this xx and this as body, this is as 100 Newton, okay. Then the whole body is in equilibrium because 100, 50, 50, total 200 force is acting downward. So, therefore, there will be 200 Newton force acting upward also because this is fixed support it will be balancing so net force 200 is acting downward therefore net force 200 is acting upward also for reaction will be 200 for balancing okay in this xx section this 100 is acting below because whole body is in equilibrium that I told you therefore this small part must be in equilibrium therefore this 100 force is acting upward also so what is stress 100 upon area, area is 10, therefore 10 Newton per mm square, okay. Suppose I cut this second body, I cut this second body here and I named it as YY, okay. Let me show this YY also, this is 2 and from above 200 Newton is acting. So, the whole body is in equilibrium, therefore this small part must be in equilibrium. Therefore, for balancing it, there must be, for balancing it, there must be a 200 Newton force acting downward. There must be 200 Newton force acting downward. So, what is stress? Stress is force by area 200. What is area here? Area, area here is 20. 200 by 20 is again 10. So, our A option is correct. Okay. See, there are some more methods also. If I cut this section here, draw. you don't have to make this free ball diagram. Yeah? This will be lengthy on your exam. Sometimes you have to, in many exams, you have to solve 
वन ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन इन वन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स और इन सम एग्जाम्स ऑल्सो इन वन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स टू आवर्स यू हैव टू सॉल्व टू हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन सो दैट टाइम यू यू शुड बी एक्यूरेट एज वेल एज फास्ट ओके देन एट दैट टाइम यू शुड डू कैलकुलेशन वेरी फास्ट सी डू वन थिंग पुट योर हैंड हेयर in the first bar anywhere what is the force from downward you are swing saying you are <coughs> observing that is 100 or from above also it is 100 see this is 200 upwards and this 50 50 downwards so how much is from above if you see from above my hand that is also 100 i am again saying from downwards if if we i am again saying see if i want to find out stress at first bar put your hand here from below my hand what is the force 100 and from above my hand 200 force is acting acting upward and 50 50 is acting downward so what is the net force from below 100 and from above also 200 minus 100 100 so 100 by area area is 10 therefore stress is 10 if i want to calculate the stress at second bar put my hand here put your hand here on the second bar from above your hand what you are saying force 200 newton from below what you are saying 200 newton from above 200 and from below also 100 plus 50 plus 50 it is 200 so from above also 200 from below also 200 so what is the stress 200 by area area is 10 area is sorry 20 200 by 20 is again 10 so this is first so you don't have to make you don't have to make this free ball diagram always this is just the beginning so i am drawing like this later on you can just put your hand and see the forces from above or below okay <coughs> so we have just discussed some basic questions in the coming classes we will be going further deep on this topic and then we will solving some complex questions or some difficult questions also okay Okay my dear friends you can access this green card if some of someone of from you are not knowing what is this green card from this green card you can access every mock test there are more than 130 mock test and not only of gate but for any other competitive exam also from the single payment one time payment for every exam other than gate also from the single green card you can access any mock test any number of times this is yearly price if you buy it before 13th then it is of 399 and if you buy it later then the price will increase so you can buy it today only okay if you like this video if you if you like this video then you can like it or you can comment it or you can download the grade app app also if you have not downloaded and you can follow me there abhinav negi and you can ask your doubt there also okay please if you like this video then like it share it or comment it or you can follow me on grade app app there will be many quizzes waiting for you there and many pdf and many notes okay okay so on next class that is on monday on 16th we will dealing with other topics of this first chapter take care till then prep smart score better go grade up thank you